Hello Virgo, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a special love reading for Virgo um, and it's going to look at um, what's coming your way in love. It's going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general reading so it cannot and will not resonate with everyone watching. So check out your other placements, your Moon, your Rising, your Venus signs so that you can see if those resonate more. Sometimes they can resonate more than your Sun sign. So let's get right into it, Spirit, for Virgo, please. What do they need to know regarding love? What does Virgo need to know, Spirit, in regards to love? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, shared, subscribed. I read all of your comments, and I really appreciate everybody being so nice. Well, most people are very, very nice, so I appreciate it. Magician and the Mirror. So I feel like you're manifesting something, Virgo, or at least thinking of what tools you have at your disposal to get something done for Virgo. Okay, we got caring connections. Beautiful. One more, please, for Virgo spirit. This Virgo needs to know. So you're clearly manifesting a caring connection, a special connection. Happy family, something long-term possibly, marriage possibly. Wow. So let's see what the tarot has to say. I'm using the Revelations tarot today. All of the decks that I use are linked in the description box. For Virgo, please, Spirit. What does Virgo need to know? What do they need to know? What does Virgo need to know? All right, so today's spread is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to put down eight cards, and then I'm going to do another round of cards after that. And those are going to be kind of the clarifiers for this spread here. So let's see for Virgo's spirit. Okay, we got Devil Reversed. Breaking free, Capricorn energy here. It's all about breaking free from an unhealthy attachment, not feeling tied down. Okay, we got Queen of Swords reverse. I love this deck because it has artwork for the reversals as well as the upright. So anybody that loves reversals, this is a great deck to have. And then I have Three of Swords. Let me move this over here have some room and then oh we got the two of cups that's that caring connections Virgo very interesting I feel like for the Virgos I'm speaking to um, you're dealing with someone very difficult in your life uh, and it's gotten unhealthy toxic and so you're thinking of breaking free of that we got four of pentacles here, right under the devil reversed. So it's almost like you are breaking free or thinking about breaking free. And maybe you're saving your money or thinking of your resources, thinking of um, maybe protecting yourself. Um, some of you, I feel like, are holding on to this unhealthy attachment in some way. We'll see what I what I get when I do the second round of cards. But let's see what else we have here for this spread. Tell me more for Virgo in regards to love. July to December 2020. Tell me more for Virgo, please. The star. Beautiful. Aquarius energy here with the star. What else for Virgo? Nine of Pentacles reversed. So some of you I feel like are still going to be attached to something. Maybe financially. Maybe in a different way. But it's like you're not completely independent. Not completely free. Maybe you have lost some of your confidence or don't feel as secure in yourself. What 
that's for Virgo. Four of Cups reversed. So it's all about a change of heart, changing your mind about something, um, being interested in something that you or reinterested in something that you weren't interested in in the past. And it has to do with a partnership because I have a two of cups here. Very interesting. So spirit, let me get some clarifiers, please. So for the clarifiers, I'm just going to wait until it feels right. And then I'll just pick up all of the cards like at that time to save some time here. Spirit, please give me some clarifiers for verbal, please, regarding this situation. Just for a to know. Okay, I'll stop there. All right, so we got a tower reversed, right with this devil here, devil reverse. So um, I feel like um, maybe there's some sort of hesitation here. Uh, someone maybe avoided a tower moment without realizing it, or, or they're thinking of how they can break free and also avoid a tower. So what's up with this Queen of Swords reversed? King of Wands. King of Wands gets things done. Very confident, charismatic. So this King of Wands um, could be a fire sign. They're dealing with a Queen of Swords reverse. Uh, Queen of Swords reverse is very difficult to deal with. They are vindictive, petty. Um, they don't communicate very well or the communication that they do, like, like whatever they express is very harsh and blunt and is meant to hurt. Uh, Queen of Swords Reverse is extremely guarded, shut off emotionally, like completely. Like they don't even, they just don't care anymore. So they don't care how they hurt. So this King of Wands is dealing with a Queen of Swords Reversed. It's funny because this King of Wands reminds me of that magician. It could be that this King of Wands is you, Virgo. It could be that you're the one dealing with this Queen of Swords Reverse. Maybe by breaking free from them in some way, they're very upset. So there's pain here. What's this Three of Swords about? Three of Wands, a message that comes in. Very interesting. So a message comes in that could be disappointing. Uh, or it could cause pain in some way here. Interesting because the Page of Wands is usually a message to begin something. Uh, there's potential and someone is passionate or has a burst of creativity and so they go after something swords reverse with this two of cups so this could go in a few ways here it could be that you virgo are in a partnership with someone this time um you or your person are in a partnership with someone at this time and there's some sort of deception or, or, or lack of communication or clarity. There could also be uh, bad communication. So this is a very bad fight um, or the communication is completely off and it's destructive, which wouldn't surprise me if you're dealing with a Queen of Swords reversed. They, they would definitely be this Ace of Swords reversed. Um, alternatively, for some of you, I'm seeing that there's no communication between these two here, this two of cups is carrying connections. Um, there could be a um, message that's not coming through or no communication at this time, which is very interesting. So it's almost like someone's manifesting a connection with someone they're not really talking to. That's for some of you though, not all. Four of Pentacles about. Death reversed again. Oh wait, no, this is the double reverse. So death reverse, Scorpio energy. Could be that you're holding on something, or this could be that Queen of Swords reverse. Hold on to something because you don't want it to end. You want things to change too much. You're resisting change, resisting an ending, resisting a transformation. This could be you or this Queen of Swords. Someone wants to leave a connection or an unhealthy situation. They want to avoid a tower. And since they want to avoid a tower, they're resisting completely changing their life. I just heard baby steps. 
It's like someone wants to take baby steps in getting out of this situation. About the star. The moon reverse. Pisces energy here. We're getting um, some major arcanas here. Our devil. Star, now the moon reversed. Moon reverse is all about something that is being revealed, something that's seen clearly for the first time. Um, there's no longer confusion or, or doubt about something because now you know. Come to light. I think it has to do with this Queen of Swords reversed. Love to confuse people. Whatever benefits them in uh, some sort of, and the reason I say that is because I think this Queen of Swords is the reason why we have this toxic energy here with the devil reversed. So, um, Ice King of Wands wants to break free from this Queen of Swords. That's what I'm seeing right now. This Queen of Swords could be anybody, by the way, could be a family member, a partner, uh, a co worker, a boss, etc. Um, but this is unhealthy with this Queen of Swords. And I feel like someone's seeing that, that they have to, they, they are making a wish, making, um, or trying to renew their faith or their, it's, it's, it's something, it's a very strange energy here. This, that's why I'm like stumbling over my words because, you know, typically the star is about healing. Reverse would not be, I mean, it's very hard to see that as a healing energy, the moon reverse. Uh, the moon reverse is something that's typically painful or difficult to deal with. Um, because now you're seeing that you were duped. You were, you were taken advantage of in some way. You were lied to or there was some sort of deception involved. So it's not really like the moon reversed could be, especially when I have it under a queen of swords like this, could be something healing. So I'm seeing this more like faith, having hope, and thinking of a renewal in, in a different way, right? Right, not renewal as in healing, but almost like having an opportunity. So be that someone wants to heal whatever happened with this moon reversed. About this nine of pentacles here, six of pentacles. So someone, you know, it's like they, they want to make things right. Or they want to restore balance here. Factor here. That if I have a feeling that this two of cups is with someone else, not this queen of swords. It's with someone else. And so I feel like whatever message takes place here, whatever restoring of balance takes place here, this queen of swords is not involved. And that is painful for them or difficult for them. Or they cause... They have a reaction and it causes pain. Four of Cups here. Eight of Swords reverse. So we have two cards here about breaking free. When it's reversed, her eyes are open. Her blindfold is off. When this card is up, she's blindfolded and tied. But when it's reversed, she is taking off the ropes and she's no longer blindfolded. So someone's clearly now what wasn't clear about a connection the swords this attachment that they've had someone's going to break free because they've had they've changed their mind about someone and the bottom of the deck here i have the knight of swords reversed so typically the knight of swords reverse is not a person that's on your side this is someone that will quickly tell you something and they don't care if your feelings are hurt um, this is also someone who kind of rushes in and tries to be a know-it-all and it blows up in their face, that kind of energy. So this Knight of Swords is not really someone that's on your side. And I feel like that's related to this Queen of Swords in some way. Or someone's realizing that whoever they were trusting, they're not on their side. Reverse, or not reverse, just the hangman, sorry. So, you know, this once again, that someone's seeing things from a different angle, a different light. So this is a very interesting reading. This is, I feel, can you see this? I don't think you can see this very well. I just noticed. Sorry if you haven't been able to see the cards in the corner there. 
I'll move these over a little bit. So what I'm seeing here is this King of Wands, um, who it, this King of Wands is the one that's manifesting. That I feel very clearly. They're manifesting a caring connect or a Two of Cups connection. Uh, family involved with children in this situation, or this is what someone wants. Stability, happiness in the home, a family. I feel is some communicating to start making things right. Still attached in some way. There could be a third party situation here with the three of swords, three people involved. Um, this queen of swords is going to make it so difficult that there's going to be this tower reversed and the death reversed. This tells me that there's one person here, whether it's this King of Wands, this Queen of Swords, or the third party, of the, if there is a third party, um, they don't want things to change. They don't want things to transform. They don't want things to end. They're resisting that. And so that causes delay, that hesitation causes delays. So, you know, throughout the month or the months, I see a progression. I see something here blowing up. This is this to me is like you towers cannot really be avoided. Okay. Just because this reverse doesn't mean that someone has avoided a tower completely. It's more like it's always a tower, but it doesn't mean that they're going to avoid it. It's almost like you, at least when it's reversed, you at least know a tower is coming and you can prepare for it. That's the energy with the tower reversed. So it's not like this person's going to avoid this tower here. No matter what they do, there is no avoiding a tower. So this is going to be a blow up here because there's going to be a tower and be occurring in a very unhealthy environment. And someone here could definitely break free and see clearly based off of what happens with this tower, which is good. And I feel like once this tower is done, once it happens, now they have to deal with the fallout and it's it evolves this queen of swords reversed. And as they deal with this queen of swords reversed, whoever that is, then they have to deal with the pain that that queen of swords causes, as well as the financial um, issues here, which I see for some of you, there's going to be a lack of security financially. Um, so someone's going to be starting to communicate, reach out, try to restore balance because there is a two of cups that they are thinking about. I'm also picking up that this two of cups, this caring connections was what this queen of swords and this king of wands had at one point. They were probably a happy family. But now there's, and it's causing someone to break free and change their minds about this partnership. So it could go those two ways. Either someone here is wanting to go to someone else because their current connections are not working and there's just conflict there and they've had a change of mind about that person they're with. So they're going to a, a two of cups energy or they're trying to find their two of cups here. Now for other was a two of cups connection that you had with someone Virgo and they ruined it or deception ruined it. Bad communication ruined this connection. Um, whatever was revealed here with this moon ruined this connection. And so someone is seeing that person clearly now and they don't want to be with them anymore. Had potential in the beginning is ruined. So it could go those two ways. Someone here is going to be very careful because I feel like you're going to be dealing with some difficult conversations, difficult communication. Um, there could be blocked communication in some cases, but you know, whoever's communicating with you, this Knight of Swords reversed is someone who is like pretends to be a friend and tells you the quote unquote truth, but it turns out to be extremely hurtful. They have their own agenda. So be careful. This could be the person you're with, a Queen of Swords reversed or it could just be anybody i hope that this resonates to you if it did please leave me a comment and let me know i love hearing from you 
If it did not resonate, that's fine. Check out your other placements um, and I will hopefully see you in another video. Also, before I leave, uh, okay, I'll see you soon.